In this video, let us look into another aspect of the linear equations, uh, the graphical representation of linear equations. How do you graphically represent linear equation? Can be just one equation, say x plus y equals 10, or it can be a you know, it can be two equations, say x plus y equals 6 and x minus y equals 4. Uh, how do you represent these graphically? And what do you mean when you say graphical representation? Graphical representation is nothing but representing a linear equation or a pair of linear equation on a graph. That's all that there is. See, for example, now a graph is nothing but it is made by two lines. That is the x-axis. This is x dash o x and this is y o y dash. So this is a graph, you know, it's got numbers on it. Now here to four equal parts. Now this horizontal line is the x axis and it is intersected by another vertical line called as a y axis. On the right side of the y axis, the x axis is a positive side. And on the left side, it is the negative side. Similarly, if you consider the y-axis, the vertical line, it is intersected or divided by a horizontal line, which is the x-axis. On the top of it is the positive side, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then below it is the negative side, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. So this is it. So how do you represent the equation on a graph? It's pretty simple. Now, say if you've got this equation, x plus y equals 10, you need the values of x and y, right? You need the values of x and y. Say the simplest can be written like this. If, if you take x as 0, then y should obviously be 10. So 0 plus 10 is 10. So this equation is solved, right? Or if you take x as 10, then y definitely should be 0. And again, 10 plus 0 is 10. So the equation is solved. That is, this is the values of x. This is the values of y. You know, let's divide it. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 10. When x is equal to 10, y is equal to 0. So this is how it works. Now, how do you represent this on a graph? Is nothing but the values that satisfy any linear equation. Is nothing but it is a point on a graph paper. Or it is a point with respect to the two coordinates. That is x and y axis. So if, say for example, if, if this is one value, that is 0, 10, then plot it here x is 0, so it is 0 here, and y is 10, so y is 10, well, it just goes beyond it. Say, for example, let us adjust our equation according to the graph here. So, let us say we've got another thing, say x plus y equals 3. So, let us form a table in which we'll write the values. If x and y are like this, if x is 1, y will be equal to 2, right? 1 plus 2 is 3. If x is 2, then y will be equal to 1. So we've got the first point, 1, 2. So the, on the x-axis, so on the x-axis, we need to plot 1. On the y-axis, we need to find 2. Here is 2. So we need to intersect those. So here it is. So this is one point. All right. The second point is 2, 1. x is 2. So we've got x is 2 here. And then y is 1. So y is 1 here. So intersect that. And it intersects somewhere here. Now join these two points. Just extend it and join these. Now this is the line representing this equation. X plus Y equals 3. So this is how you graphically represent a linear equation. Now this is, now what we did was just representing one single equation. Let us say we need to consider representing a pair of linear equation. Let us take this equation also and let us make it a pair. Then X plus Y equals 3 and... Um, x minus y equals 4. So now let us draw a table for this as well. So say this is x, this is y. So if x is 5, y should be 1. And if x is 1, if x is 1, then y should be what? It should be a positive 5, right? It should be a positive 5. Now, for us to get 4, y has to be minus 3. If y is negative 3, then we can get this, that is 1 minus of minus 3 is equal to 4, right? So, we've got this point and we've got this point. So, now let's plot these points now. So, the first point is 5, 1. 5 belongs to x and 1 belongs to y. 5, 1. So, 5, x is 5. So, let's first plot this point, 5, 1. 
So we got x is 5 and y is 1. So again, intersect them, we've got one point and next is 1 comma negative 3. X is 1 and the y is negative 3. So you need to come down and it matches somewhere here. So this is the point. So now we've got a line joining these two points and these two lines is a graphical representation of these two simultaneous equation. If you consider these two as a simultaneous equation, the graphical representation of these simultaneous linear equation or a pair of linear equation would be this graph. This is how you represent graphically. So that's all. What So what you have to first understand is that when you've got a linear equation, the numbers that solve the equation or the numbers that satisfy the equation forms a point is a point on the graph you know those two numbers are the is one point so you need to have two solutions minimum to get a line right so that is what it is so if you get a line for one equation you can also get another line for another equation so that's how we got this but, but before this line we only represented this equation you know here so yeah this, this is this video explains what is graphical representation of linear equations and how do you do it? Well, if this is mainly for people who absolutely do not know how to represent a linear equation or a graph and here it is. So this is going to help you recall a lot of stuff and you need to get yourself familiarized or get yourself familiar with these things to further solve problems based on pair of linear equations in two variables. Well, this concludes this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with problems or maybe a little more concepts based on graphical representation and then maybe problems in the next videos.